microphone just okay. to make sure there's nice and clear. Um, as you can see here, everything in this room is uh, videotaped and audio taped. Check. Uh, you ever been interviewed by the police in a in a room like this before? I have never been interviewed like this. Oh no. Okay. No. Let's get this set up here. I guess the closest to interview by NIS for top secret clearance. Oh yeah. All right. Well, again, Russell, I appreciate you coming in uh, an investigation like this. I mean, I'm sure you can appreciate it's been big news, uh, especially yeah. down uh, Belleville way. Um, and you know, obviously, our approach to cases like this is that uh, uh, we don't give up on somebody being alive until mm -hmm. we get evidence that they're not. So, um, because of that, we're treating uh, Jessica's case uh, as an emergent situation, Absolutely. obviously. Yeah. Um, so we're we're fast forwarding things that we might normally take our time with, mm -hmm. um, and that's why. Uh, we're here on a Sunday afternoon, uh, sure. so uh, again, I appreciate it. No um, we're going to do a pretty thorough interview today, okay? okay? Um, and the reason for that is because uh, the last thing we want is to be calling people back again and again and again, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over a number of things, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to explain what all those are to you, okay? okay? Um, I'm a big coffee guy. I don't know if you're a, a coffee guy or not, I, but I didn't want to drink in front of you, so. No, I appreciate um, that. All right, go ahead. I could uh, definitely, are they black? Yeah, they're just black with uh, with sugar. Um, Started your what, sorry? Gum. Just oh, okay. piece, piece of gum. <laughs> well, there's napkins there if you want to toss it or whatever. I appreciate that. All right. And again, um, like I said, this interview is going to be very thorough. Mm -hmm. um, but again, uh, I have a simple rule when I talk to people. It's uh, I'm sure you're the same way. I, I treat people, everybody with respect. I don't yeah. want to ask you to do the same for me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by uh, going through um, what your rights are, okay? okay? Just like everybody else. Excellent. Help. Okay, we good? Love, yeah. love it. And essentially, uh, Russell, uh, in a nutshell, that's what we wanted to, uh, to talk to you about, okay? Mm -hmm. um, those four cases are of uh, concern to us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you've kind of uh, almost hit the nail on the head about uh, some of our issues that kind of... Uh, make us want to talk to, to Russell Williams, okay? Because mm. um, essentially, uh, there was a, a, a connection um, between you and, uh, and all four of those cases. Would you agree? Geographically, yeah, I guess or... I drive past, uh, yes, I, I would yeah. have to say there's a, a connection, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's why, um, I'll be quite frank with you, that's why uh, things kind of um, uh, evolved when uh, the officers talked to you on Thursday night. Okay. Uh, we kind of went from there because uh, when I think you discussed with them the fact that you were a, uh, a colonel yeah. uh, at the base. Oh, I was um, in uniform at the time. so Yeah, yeah. so pretty obvious, right? Yeah. Um, so essentially uh, then the connection with Ms. Como um, yeah. was made. Okay, Chase, what do you... They told me. Okay. So I got an email. I can't remember if it was late at night or early in the morning. It was certainly... I saw it, uh, I want to say, first thing in the morning because I had just come back from Ottawa. I was in Ottawa for... Uh, um, a set of meetings on one of the days. I can't remember what, what day of the week we're talking about, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, obviously when your people get skilled, it uh, gets your attention. So. Absolutely. Yeah, I very much remember that coming in. And how did you know Marie Franz Coleman? I'd only met her once. Um, she was on a crew uh, I was on uh, just after I got to the base. Okay. So uh, I can't even remember. I think it was a one day trip. Uh, I did a, a number of trips uh, in Canada transporting um, our, um, you know, troops sort of first leg out of Edmonton. Uh, you know, we tend to hopscotch them across uh, until they get in the theater. So uh, anyway, I, I can't remember which trip it was, but uh, we did a number of them out to Edmonton just to, to pick up the troops, bring them to Trenton, and then uh, put a fresh crew on and because uh, we'd fly out and back in the same day, so pushing the edge of that. And, uh, Fresh crew on, they continue on after a couple hour delay. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. So that particular week, uh, do you have any recollection? Well, for instance, when you got the email, uh, yeah. do you remember where you were? I was at home in Tweed. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you remember if that was a week that you were um, reasonably stable in Trenton, or had you flown? No, I had been in Ottawa. I had been in Ottawa earlier in the week uh, for some meetings over in, uh, in Gatineau. For one of the, um, it's actually for the C-17 acquisition. I was project director and when I was here in Ottawa for that, so just some follow-up stuff for that. Okay. So I had been here um, a 
at some point in that week again, I can't remember how the days all fell together, but um, I seem to remember that I got this word shortly after having come back from Ottawa. It seems to me it was the same week. All right, Greg, what do you got? Yeah, so I told you before, we look like swans until you see our feet under the water. Watch him. Watch the interrogator. He does something with his hands, and he's keenly observant of his own body language and kind of moves glitchy because he's afraid that it'll be perceived by the other guy. That's the curse of being us, right? And we're sitting across the table. We're like, oh, yeah, he might understand that. And we do something glitchy to move it around. So it's an interesting turn. He does it again. This interrogator knows what he's doing. He uses leading questions. Did, will, have, or can. Those words allow you to cut shorter conversation. I saw that in you. I wouldn't be back in here talking to you, quite frankly. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you got me fooled. I don't know. This is over. And it can have a, a bad ending where Jessica's parents continue to wonder where her daughter's lying. And I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's a huge search still underway, and it'll continue. It'll continue until her body's found. That might even happen tonight, for all I know. Once that happens, then I don't know what other cards you would have to play. What are we going to do? Jessica somewhere where we can find her easily? Like, is this something where I can make a call and tell somebody to go to a location and they're going to find her, or is this something where we have to go and... Well, I don't think you want the cold-blooded psychopath option. I might be wrong. Because, okay? don't get me wrong, I've met guys who actually kind of enjoyed the notoriety, got off on it got off on having that label, Bernardo being one of them. I don't see that in you. If I saw that in you, I wouldn't be back in here talking to you, quite frankly. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you got me fooled. I don't know. This is over. And it can have a, a bad ending where Jessica's parents continue to wonder where her daughter's lying. And I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's a huge search still underway, and it'll continue. It'll continue until her body's found. That might even happen tonight, for all I know. Once that happens, then I don't know what other cards you would have to play. So 
What are we going to do? Jessica somewhere we can find her easily? Like, is this something where I can make a call and tell somebody to go to a location and they're going to find her, or is this something where we have to go and... Yeah. 